Hello, I'm Frank E. I'm an artificial life form programmed to teach you everything about astral photography. No, I'm just kidding. My name is Frank Sackenheim. I'm an astral photographer from Cologne in Germany. And our software Grexpert, a gradient removal software, got an update and now it's possible to remove gradients from astronomical images with just one click of your mouth. And that's possible through the power of artificial intelligence or to be more specific, convolutional neural networks. In this video, I will show you how to download the software, where to download the software and how to install it on your computer and of course how to use it. But this is the fun and easy part. Also, please watch the video until the end because we also need your help to improve the software. There are some important announcements I have to make. So let's have fun with Gregsport AI. See you in a minute. In spring of 2022, we released the first version of Gregsport and I uh, announce it here on my YouTube channel. Gregsbird is a free and open source software to remove gradients from astronomical images. It became quite popular and we received positive messages from all over the world. After fixing some issues with the first version, we thought it's done. It's doing what it's supposed to do, remove gradients from astronomical images, and it does it very well. And we thought, well, that's it. But the developers of Gregsbert, they experimented with so-called artificial intelligence, or to be more specific with a thing it's called uh, convolutional neural networks and the results we've got are very promising and in this video I will show you what we achieved until now. This AI version of Gregsbird is in a beta test version right now and you will not get the functionality with the normal distribution of Gregsbird which you can download from our uh, website. What you need instead is the beta version and you also need the AI version separately and there are two download links. I will support you with all the download links in the video description so please have a look in the video descriptions and all the links you need are written in the description. In a minute I will show you how to download the software, how to download the AI that you need and how to install it on your computer and of course how to use it. But please watch until the end because there are some important announcements I have to do. So let's go to the computer and try. First, please go to the video description. There are content informations under the YouTube videos and at the end of the text you can click on more. Then the whole text field opens. There you will find all the download links you need. The first link leads to GitHub, a developer platform for programmers. Here you can now download the appropriate Grexpert version for your operating system. There is a version for Linux, two for Mac OS, depending on which chip is installed in your Mac, and a version for Windows. I download this version. The second link leads to a Google Drive folder. Here you can find the background model. Right click and then download. This folder will be downloaded as a zip file. Now please go to your download folder, right click on this zip folder and run extract all. You will now get an unzip folder which contains the background model folder. This is a bit dangerous. I therefore advise you to create a new folder, name it Gregsbert AI for example. Now move the background model folder and the Gregsbert software into this folder. It is very important that these two are in one folder. Now you can start Gregsbird simply by double-clicking on the program icon. 
If you want to install this software on an Apple Macintosh computer, please proceed as follows. There are two versions available for download for Mac OS, one for Macs with Intel processors and one for Apple processors. After downloading, open the .dmg file and move Gregspert to the Applications folder. That is very important. When starting Gregspert for the first time, you may have to start the program with Control plus click on the Gregspert symbol in Applications, then select Open. Download the background model and unzip it. The directory to which the background model folder should be moved can be reached by right-clicking on Gregspert in the Applications folder, then show Package Contents and Contents. If you are a Linux user, please go like this. Copy the Gregspert Linux file and the background model folder into a common directory, for instance, Gregspert AI. Then open the Gregspert AI directory, or however you named it, in the terminal. Execute the following command chmod u plus x dot slash run Gregspert minus Linux. This makes the program executable. Gregspert can now be executed simply via the terminal or by double clicking. This message is very typical in Windows. Please do not click on the don't run, but click on more information and start anyway. The next message is also normal for the beta version. Just press OK and ignore it. Gregspert looks the same as always, but if you scroll down a bit, you will see that the AI selection is available under interpolation methods. Now I will load a picture as normal. I think I still have to crop the image, which you should always do before removing the gradient. But I will take a look, I'm not sure. You don't select any samples in the image now, you just go to Calculate Background and wait. This may take a moment for me because I'm recording a video and running a computational intensive graphics application at the same time. I paused the video briefly and made a crop. I couldn't see the stacking edges because of the gradient. We look at the original image again and here the version with Gregspert AI and I think the result is incredible. I wouldn't have been able to do this any better using the usual methods. Because it's so beautiful, I will show you one or two more picture examples. In this picture you can see that there is a lot going on, especially in the upper area. You can clearly see a strong gradient caused by light pollution. Same game, I'll just press calculate and we'll see what the AI gives us. The result is ready and it doesn't take very long. Oh, a crazy result and you can see a dramatic difference. The fact that there's still a green area down here can certainly be real. With color cameras, the sky backgrounds tends to appear green with such strong color saturation. So again, the original and the Gregspert AI version and that's really a dense field, absolutely impressive. Another note here, the smoothing factor definitely has an effect. In my examples, it is now always set to 1, which means maximum blur. Try using lower values first, as the AI already creates very soft background models. The smoothing factor leads to increased blurring with a Gaussian filter. This is not absolutely necessary or helpful, just experiment with it. A completely different example here, someone photographed the sun in H-alpha light but did not create any flat fields. We see a darkening in the image at the top left. Let's see what the AI makes of it. And the software works here too. Again, original and corrected version. This is the last example. I already used this image in my first Gregspert video in 2022, the Great Orion Nebula M42. Let's see what the software does with it. Here too, the gradient is removed perfectly and I couldn't have done it better with any of the other methods. 
If this method is too scary for you or you prefer not to edit your images with an AI, you can now use this image as a template and put samples in the background here and use one of the old methods. Even if the AI doesn't work well, this is a viable solution, as this functionality is still there. But again, I wouldn't have been able to achieve this result using any of the usual methods. What we didn't have much of in training were images from a monochrome camera. I'll say something about how you can support us in a moment, but I think everything has been said as far as the tutorial goes. Now try it out yourself. Have fun. I could go on with even more images now and you're also welcome to try Gregsbert AI by your own and see what you can achieve with this software. But earlier or later there will be an example of that one image where the AI functionality won't work that well. This is where you can help us to improve the software. So if there is an image where the AI functionality doesn't work so well, please send us this image and so we can improve the software further. In addition, uh, you can also send us some pictures where the original version of Gregsbert worked very well. So if you worked with Gregsbert before and you have some examples of before and after where Gregsbert did a great job also, those images can help us to even make Gregsbert AI better. So please send us these images as well. But if you send us those images, you need to stick to some rules. First rule is we need linear images. So please send us your images in a linear state, not processed with any other uh, software yet, uh, just the stacked images in a FITS format or XISF format. Also, we train the software pretty much with just RGB colored images. So uh, there weren't much images taken with monochrome cameras. So if you have some examples with monochrome, monochrome cameras, please send us those images as well. Second rule, if you send us some images where the background is already removed, it's very important that this is only done by Gregsport or by Serial and uh, make sure that the uh, gradient removal is not done with any other software. And third rule, if you send us images where you already extracted the background, it's important that we need the original image with the gradient and then we need the gradient model. In Gregsbert you can save your final result but as well you can save the background model and this is what we need. So in addition to your original image we need the background model. Also stick to some uh, naming conventions. So please rename your images with your name, whether it's your original name or just a nickname. So you can write Mickey Mouse underscore Messi 17 or Frank underscore M17 or Frank Sackenheim underscore M17 and so on. If you send us in addition your background model for this image, then yeah, follow the same naming convention like Mickey Mouse underscore Messier 17 underscore background. Another very important thing is we need your agreement to use your images to train our AI. So we created a contributor agreement and there is another download link in the video description where you can download this PDF file. Please read it and sign it and send it to our email address, which is info at gregspert.com. And if you sign it, please sign it with the same name that you used when you renamed your images so that we can assign your agreement to your images. That's another important thing. This is just a safeguard for us to have your permission to use uh, your images to train the software or to train the AI. It doesn't mean that we can do whatever we want with your images, nor does it mean that you have to publish your images under the same license like we do publish our Gregsbert software. It's like I said, just a legal safeguard for us.
So enough talking. We are very uh, curious about your experience with this new version of Gregspert, with the AI version of Gregspert. So please let us know in the comments what you achieved with Gregspert AI. And please uh, send us your images, whether they're very good examples of gradient removal or some examples where the Gregspert AI version didn't work quite so well. So I have clear skies and see you soon, Frank.